Hey there, it's Jenny, and I am back today to share with you a process video. I'm going to make a traveler's notebook layout. So I'm going to trim down this piece of white cardstock to four and an eighth inches to eight and an eighth inches so that I can have two facing, so a two page traveler's notebook layout. I'm going to use this one photo of my son and the school mascot, and I'm simply going to mat it on white cardstock real quick before I get to work. I just eyeball it by adhering the photo to the, pa the paper and then just trimming off the excess on the sides as needed. Now I'm looking at which of these pattern papers that I want to use. I think that I want to use Oh, it's just so hard to choose, but I know I want one of these light blue papers. I want the focal point to be very soft, so I'm just going to tear it in half, sort of, corner to corner. Basically, it's kind of rough, and I want to have two corners with the nice torn edge. It doesn't need to be perfect or anything like that. It just needs to fill the corner, so to speak. I don't want it to be too long on both sides. This side is longer than the other one and that's how I want it. I want more patterned paper over here. I think that light blue is the perfect accent to the bright blue sky in the background of the photo. Now on this side I'm going to adhere it down at the bottom and as you can see I just didn't want it as tall. I wanted it a lot smaller. Now I cut apart that really large Coco Daisy tag and I kept the bottom of it and I will keep it for a future use because I think it's really pretty. But I just wanted the top like three inches or so to go on this layout. I do love the bottom, but I'm going to trim the same sentiment from one of the cards from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. I'm going to trim that off into about two by two roughly and adhere it onto that tag a little bit hanging off the bottom. And then I'm going to add a little bit of accent to it as well. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to embellish it with. I know that I want it to be pretty and have layers and dimension like most of my layouts do, but I don't want it to be too terribly feminine as this isn't really a feminine layout, yet the kit has a lot of feminine accents like all of the florals and stuff. I'm not saying florals are feminine. I'm just saying this particular kit in general feels a little more feminine. And so I am choosing some of the less feminine accents. Can I say feminine more times? <laughs> anyway. All right. So I'm just going through all of the die cuts and picking out pieces that I think well were, will work well for this layout. So I want some shapes in addition to the flowers. So I found a banner. I found a bow. I found a little fancy edged label. And then one of these photo frames as well. I thought that would make really nice layering work underneath the photo with just a couple of the sides peeking out. And then I could also include that fancy edge label and this little circle die cut as well. So I'm going to start building from the bottom up. I always do this just because it's easiest for me to sort of keep the overall shape. Now I'm going to add the anchor, which was that fancy edge label, and then I'm going to adhere the photo down last. Then the last part, the accent, will be the circle. And instead of using the adhesive on the back of the die cut, I'm going to use the foam squares. My favorite are the thermo web ones. I'm going to link those up for you. I personally really love the height of them. I feel like they're a little bit taller than others, and I really like that. Now on the right hand side, you can see I've already added the tag and the little trimmed out thing. Now I want to layer right underneath the trimmed card, just ever so slightly that blue flower. And then I'm going to use these hearts as well, right on top of that. So cute. And then the accent of the arrow pointing towards the photo. I love how that turned out. So then now the top cluster for my third cluster is going to be, the base will be this punched circle of this patterned paper. I didn't punch one of the edges because I knew I wanted it to be flush up against the edge of the cardstock. And then on top of that, the anchor will be the little banner. So cute. I'm already loving how this is turning out. And then the accent will be the little cute red heart. I'm totally in love with this. I think it's absolutely so cute. I love the overall design. 
I'm not going to lie, Traveler's Notebook layout pay layouts are my favorite. I just feel like they come together so incredibly easily. Now I'm going to add a few of the glitter dots just for accent, for a little bit of dimen extra dimension, and a little bit of shimmer as well to this layout. Now I'm going to use these. They're kind of a soft aqua slash blue alphabet. I love this font so much, and I'm just going to spell out Harry and Leo. Leo is the mascot, but it's new or... Er the news here is that that's actually my son's best friend, and my son helps him when he's dressed up as Leo. I think it's a really cool memory, especially for a couple of 8th grade boys. My friend works at the school, and so she sent me this photo, and I'm just so happy to have it. It really made my day to see that crumb across my text messages. Alright, so now we have the whole layout. And I love it. I love it so much. And I'm just going to add the journaling now. So I've pulled out my magnetic healing mat and my ruler, and I'm going to draw the lines across the page. I like to draw them staggered because I like the way that that looks. I think it's really whimsical and fun. I also love using the black pen sometimes, actually most of the time probably, because I really like the contrast on the page with the black pen and the white paper. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hand write the journaling. I do sometimes use the computer instead and cut the strips out because I like the way that that looks too, but I also love using my handwriting as well, so I go ahead and do that. Now I did mess up on one of the writing, and normally I don't let that bother me too much, but I decided since I had my correction tape handy that I would just cover that up real quick and keep writing. That is it for me today. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below, and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Thanks so much, and make it a great day.